sinking driveway, settling patio, collapsing stoop, uneven pool deck. It's a fact. Concrete problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Friday, the 14th of January. I'm James Spann. We're getting set for a big soaking over the weekend and a few snowflakes on Sunday. A lot of questions. Let's see if we can find some answers. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country this afternoon. Got a long wave trough over the eastern states and a very well-defined wave coming down through the Great Plains that will be diving southward, spinning up a pretty impressive winter storm for some folks across the southeastern states over the weekend. There's the visible satellite view. The sky partially sunny across Alabama. Temperatures are mostly in the 50s, although we've got some low 60s on the western side of the state. Tuscaloosa 60, Birmingham and Anniston 55. Here's our watch warning map. We have winter storm warnings for parts of Minnesota, South Dakota, Iowa, Missouri and Illinois. Winter storm watches for parts of northern Arkansas, much of Tennessee and areas to the northeast. No part of Alabama in a winter storm watch at this point. Here's the severe weather threat through tonight. There could be some thunder over Arkansas. No severe storms expected. Tomorrow, there is a marginal risk of severe storms on the Florida Gulf Coast from near Perdido Key down to Sarasota. With our storm system, that's because of some stronger storms that might push inland from the Gulf of Mexico. In day three Sunday, a marginal risk over parts of the Florida Peninsula, including Tampa Bay and Fort Myers. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. And again, you can pick out the track of our weekend storm system. For Alabama, a lot of rain this weekend. Rain amounts between one and two inches. This will be a good soaking. And of course, this is the seven-day totals, but the bulk of that will be over the weekend. So let's uh, dig into modeling here, model fans, and talk about what happens this weekend. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 3. Very deep upper low near Shreveport. Down below that, a surface low over central Mississippi. And the day will be cloudy. Rain will be moving in during the afternoon. Rain should be widespread late in the day. High should be in the 50s. This is tomorrow night at midnight. The surface low is just south of Dothan. Widespread rain across the state, a cold soaking rain. And then Sunday, the surface low is over eastern North Carolina. Nasty icing event there for parts of the Carolinas and Virginia. And as colder air is pulled southward, there is the chance the rain could change over to snow, mostly light snow for about the northern half of the state. So this is the accumulation potential from the National Blend of Models, the NBM. It's like an ensemble of different models, and it's performed pretty well in recent events, and you can see it's just not spitting out much. And again, there could be a snowflake as far south as Montgomery or Selma, but uh, the better chance of any light accumulation would be uh, north of a line from near Sulligent to uh, Trustful down to Roanoke. And even there, probably not much. The amount's under one inch. Temperature Sunday should be in the mid-30s, so the road should be just wet. Don't expect any travel impact. The better snows north of here. And again, you can see evidence Nashville could pick up maybe five inches of snow, maybe more in spots there with this system. But again, for Alabama, just not that much. Here's the expanded view for those that might be traveling. Really big snows for the mountains of North Carolina and points north and east. And again, there could be some icing problems east of the state, uh, parts of Georgia, the Carolinas. And that's uh, because of freezing rain, rain falling with temperatures below 32. But again, for Alabama, I just don't think we'll have a big impact from this. Uh, of course, this could change. And the one thing you'll have to watch for is a little patchy black ice Sunday night. That's when temperatures do go below freezing. The storm will be gone by then. But there might be a touch of black ice in scattered spots Sunday night. So keep that in mind. But remember, this could change. And we'll watch uh, trends carefully as the system approaches. Monday, everything is on by. We are dry, cold. We start the day in the 20s. The high will be in the 40s. Tuesday, sunny with highs in the 50s. And then Wednesday, a cold front approaches. That'll bring rain in here, Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. Thursday, noticeably colder. Highs drop in the low to mid 40s. It's a pretty cold air mass settling in here. And a week from today, Friday the 21st, the flow goes zonal. Evidence of some light rain on the Gulf Coast. Maybe a little freezing rain over Louisiana and South Mississippi. We'll have to watch that feature at the end of next week. But for now, it looks like mainly just a chance of rain near the Gulf Coast. 
will go out 10 days, Monday the 24th of January. Very deep trough on the eastern seaboard and a pretty cold air mass in here at that point, but dry. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean between 2 and 3 inches between now and the 29th of January. Temperatures, we might hit 60 Wednesday of next week, then that next shot of cold air comes in. Bottom line is, temperatures look below average here for the rest of January, and you can see that evidence in this new outlook. This is just in from the CPC. This is for the 22nd through the 28th of January. Temperatures over the eastern half of the country, including Alabama, will likely be below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here from me will be posted by... 6 o'clock Monday morning. If you can, join us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless. Sinking driveway? Call Alabama Professional Services. Settling patio? Call APS. Uneven pool deck? Call APS. Collapsing stoop? Call APS. Cracking sidewalk? That's right. Call APS. It's a fact. Concrete problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today.